In this video, we'll discuss new research on the diet that's shrinking your brain. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification and be sure to join our notification community. That way it can help you excel your health and your life. Now in this video, we have a brand new topic we're discussing and is based off a brand new study. And this is the topic of the diet that's shrinking your brain. Now first of all, nobody likes shrinkage, especially when it comes to your brain. But this new study is basically showing us that your diet and also your unhealthy lifestyle habits is going to set the stage for for neurodegeneration in your future. And so what we'll do in this video is we'll discuss this new study, basically what it outlines. It's, there's a lot of details that are very interesting that most people are completely unaware of. And then also we're going to discuss what you have to do to remedy this situation of stopping neurodegeneration in its tracks. Let's go ahead and first start with the study. Now, the study was done by the Australian National University, published in the Frontiers of Neuroendocrinology. They reviewed over 200 studies done internationally. Now, basically, what they found in this study is that unhealthy habits are clearly linked to significant decline in brain function. So, the things that you are doing on a daily basis is significantly de decreasing your brain function and setting the stage for neurodegeneration. Now, you know, some people might look at that and go, well, yeah, that sounds pretty obvious, but it goes further. Let's talk about it. Now, they talk about some of the statistics, like 30% of the world's population being overweight, also 10% of the world population developing diabetes by the year 2030. Now that's significant because if you're overweight, you have a greater chance of neurodegeneration because you have a greater chance of developing diabetes, which causes it. So these are very important statistics, but we also found from this study is neurodegeneration and decreased neuronal function sets in much earlier than previously thought. So many people think, well, once you hit your 60s, your 70s, this is when you got to really focus on brain health so you don't get Alzheimer's and dementia and all these different brain disorders. But the truth is, is they're setting in much earlier. They basically found that in early childhood development, as young adults, some of these things are already setting in. And by the time that you are hitting middle age, this is very hard to reverse because brain damage is difficult to reverse post middle age. That's one of the things the study found. And so we have to be aware that not only do young children need to be healthy for brain health, young adults need to be healthy for or need to eat healthy for brain health. But as you go through life, you need to always be cognizant of this because most people think, well, you know, because I'm young, I can get away with eating unhealthy. I can get away without exercising. I can get away with these different things. But the truth is, is that the brain degeneration is already setting in. And a lot of people actually start to have um, different symptoms that start to occur, memory loss, forgetfulness. I mean, brain fog. Things that are, you know, don't seem bad, but they're obvious that they're actually, you're having some brain trouble going on. You're having some early signs of, of brain disorder. And so these things start to set in as you're very young. Once you hit middle age, the, the research shows that it's very difficult to reverse this. So these are all things that are very important, things that weren't previously known. We have to be focusing on our health, you know, right now. We need to start it right now. So what do we need to do? We need to start as soon as possible. You know, I don't believe in giving up on people and their health. I don't care what kind of condition you have. You should always be willing to start right now. I don't give up on you. Don't give up on yourself. So start right now making the right lifestyle choices. Make sure that your kids are eating healthy. Make sure your the, the young adults in your family and, and, and your acquaintances are eating healthy because neurodegeneration starts earlier than we previously had thought. And so start now. Exercise, should you do it, should you not? Well, of course you should do it. And once again, that seems pretty obvious, but the fact is is that most people don't like exercising. A lot of people don't like going to the gym and, and doing some sprints or lifting heavy weights, but what you can do is you can do a 30-minute walk a day. And a 30-minute walk a day has very, very uh, amazing benefits for your overall health. And one of the things that the study outlined is that it's not only the unhealthy diet, but it's also the lack of exercise that is causing this issue. You need exercise in your daily routine you need to move. What I'll do too is I'll put a link in the description here below of a video I did that basically talks about the health benefits of just a 30 minute brisk walk a day. So next here is proper caloric intake. One of the things the study outlines is that people are over consuming calories, but they're consuming calories that are high in carbohydrates and low in nutrients. Now when we look at proper caloric intake, 
most people are over consuming and they're not consuming the good stuff either. So we have to think about this and we have to start thinking about ways to reduce our daily caloric intake. Things that work really well for people are things like intermittent fasting where you fast for 16 hours and eat all your meals within an eight hour period or even doing something like one meal a day where you're going in and you're just eating all your meals in a one to two hour period. And so proper caloric intake is very important. So you really need to dial in your macros and make sure that you're not over consuming on a daily basis. Next thing is you have to ditch the junk food, okay? Now the thing the study highlights is, you know, the overwhelming amount of people who are eating fast food, who are drinking soda, who are eating, you know, french fries and burgers. These different foods are the cause of these problems we're talking about. So we have to make sure that we're eating the proper diet. And here's what we need to focus on. We need to eat a low carb diet. So decrease your carbohydrate intake. The other thing that we have to do is we have to ditch the sugar. Get the sugar out of our daily routine because it is just destroying our body. Now another thing that they highlighted in the study is that only one out of 10 people are actually eating the proper amount of vegetables that they need on a daily basis. So we want to make sure that we're eating whole foods, we want to lower our carb intake, ditch the sugar, decrease grain intake into our diet, and make sure that we're eating proper amounts of vegetables. You know, one of the things this, this study highlighted is not only is it so critical for doctors to go and make sure that they're doing the proper due diligence in order to make sure people have this information, but it's also so important that you take this information, you implement it into your life, but also you share it with your friends so that they can know that, you know, brain degeneration isn't something that is occurring only later on in life. It's something that's starting very, very early and once you are to your 60s into your 70s the, the study highlights well it's because you've done too little and you've done it too late and now the problems occurred now you have a problem it's very difficult to reverse the damage that's already done so share this information with your friends questions put in the comments section give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't done so yet subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on how you can improve your health I'll see you in the next video